Hey, what's up? Last Layer King here, and welcome to 2021. So in 2020, my main cubing focus was on learning a whole bunch of one look last layer algorithms. 2021 is going to be a little bit different. My main focus for 2021 will be to practice the blind events and to grind solves. So does that mean I'll be taking a break from one look last layer? Well, yes. But this is actually something that I anticipated early in 2020. Uh, one of the main reasons for this was I wanted to spend basically the entire first half of uh, 2021 just spamming blind solves and trying to get as fast as possible in preparation for Worlds. However, with the COVID situation, Worlds may or may not happen this year. There's also lots of questions about a national championship or a North American championship that may or may not happen. But even considering that those, those competitions may not happen, I've decided to uh, really put my main focus onto grinding blind solves. Now I'll still be uh, definitely uploading some content on my channel related to one look last layer because uh, that's what people like, but that's not going to be um, what I'm going to focus on. There are actually a couple algorithm sets specific to blind that I do want to learn this year. Um, one of them is uh, advanced parity, and that is a set which will swap your edge buffer with any other piece on the cube and your corner buffer with any other piece on the cube. So as an example, if I w uh, wanted to swap my corner buffer with some other corner on the cube and then swap my edge buffer with some other random edge on the cube, that's basically what advanced parity does. There are 461 cases in full advanced parity and I'm definitely not going to learn all of them. In fact, I'm probably only going to learn a very small number of them, but I do want to learn at least some advanced parity. And then the other blind algorithm set that I would like to learn some of is called LCTC, and that stands for Last Corner Twisted Corner. So uh, essentially what that does is it'll swap your corner buffer with your last target while swapping the two um, edges that you set up swapped if you have parity, and it'll also twist a corner. So like in this specific case here, uh, this is my corner buffer, which I would like to swap down to here. These two edges are swapped, but then this piece is also twisted. So an LCTC would solve um, all of that in one algorithm. Uh, there are 252 cases in LCTC. I already know 48 of them, and I'm probably going to learn another 72 of them, which puts the count at 120. I plan on learning uh, those sets right at the start of the year so that I can spend the next several months just grinding solves. Uh, my goal for 3Blind this year is to have a global average of sub-25 by the end of the year. The other main event that I plan on practicing is multi-blind. So I've definitely done a lot of multi-blind in 2020, and that's going to continue in 2021. And I plan uh, on just continuing the small attempts and doing what I know works and what I've seen improvement in. If a, a big competition like Nationals or Worlds does happen, it'd be really cool to be able to attempt 40 cubes for multi-blind. And then also by the end of the year, I'd like to be able to sub-hour somewhere between 45 and 50 cubes by the end of the year. Okay, the next uh, blind event I want to talk about is 4-blind. 4-blind uh, is something that I really have not practiced at all for like six months. Um, I don't really plan on practicing 4-blind uh, that much this year unless I decide to totally get into it. It might be something I... I uh, get back into, but if I don't, uh, it won't bother me too much. But in the case that like a North American Championship or Worlds happens, I will be uh, definitely doing a lot of four blind practice in the months leading up to it. Because if that competition does happen, then I do want to get like a decently good time in four blind. But I don't really have any um, specific goals. And then the the last event that I'm going to put a lot of focus in in 2021 is three by three. So I know in 2020, I said I wanted to uh, do a lot of 3x3 three three solves, and I kind of didn't do that. Like, I learned a bunch of one look last layer algs, and then I didn't actually, like, grind 3x3 three three solves. I was just learning algs. So I want to do a lot more 3x3 three three solves in 2021, and I would like to get an official sub-10 average by the end of the year. Now, when it comes to what I'm going to do in the second half of 2021, like, after a Worlds, I'm really not totally sure what I'm going to do. I may continue grinding blind solves, but I might also start getting back into other things. Like maybe I'll go back to learning one look last layer, or maybe I'll start doing five blind, or maybe I'll be grinding four blind at that time. Who knows? But definitely for uh, the first half of 2021, it's going to be all about blind. Um, 
that's all I have to say for this video. I'm looking forward to a fantastic year. I'm looking forward to competitions coming back, and I will catch you in the next video.